We'll travel for, we'll travel for vegan food. because we knew that we wanted to, if we were going to raise our child vegan, which we were, um, we wanted him to also be raised with vegan peers and in a community. So that first um, time we got together was at our house. Yeah, it was like six families, or I think, showed up for the first potluck, right. and then it just grew from there, and it grew relatively quickly. I mean, we, so before we knew it, there were probably 20 families in it, and yeah. now I think it's what, 60 some or something? Once a month for a vegan potluck, the kids get to play. We also have a, an annual camping trip and an annual trip to um, Sasha Animal Sanctuary in Michigan. The impetus behind it was that we all wanted our children to be raised with other vegan kids and for us to get support from other parents because we have unique issues that are not necessarily things that are easily um, uh, related to by other parents, you know, so we can talk to each other, share um, wisdom, advice, and that sort of thing. And we do get people from across the spectrum, pe but people who are, maybe the husband isn't vegan yet, maybe they're, they're moving that direction, maybe they were vegan for a while and then they fell off and now they're getting back into it. So it's, it's certainly welcoming to all people who are respectful of the, the, the goal of being vegan. The thing that's most amazing to me is how the children get along. Um, never there's fight. never been a fight. They, um, we can sometimes, like for our Halloween potluck, um, we, we get uh, sometimes like 60, 70 like 60 people, in, our people in this bungalow in Chicago. And um, the kids really get along. And another thing about the CVFN that makes it special is that the children can celebrate holidays and, and other traditions that regular kids get to celebrate. So like for our Halloween potluck. The little trick or treat. Yeah, we, we spook the house up, we, you know, we make seasonal trees. So our kids who often don't see these things at, um, you know, regular well, restaurants. They see everybody else you know, having these yeah. things that they can't do. So to me, it's, it's exciting to, to be able to give the children that, that opportunity. My first bit of advice would be to try to find some allies, even if they're not vegetarian or vegan, if they um, are people who are um, good friends who are supportive of you, people who share some other common interest that, that might uh, be crossover interest. Um, and I would go to the libraries, go to coffee shops, go to bookstores. Um, you, know, food, food. you can leave um, natural food stores. Yeah, natural food place. stores. You can leave um, flyers behind for people to call you. Um, you could start stuff online. You know, even like We're done. You could put you know, something Craigslist, in Craigslist or yeah. something. Um, but I, the first thing I would do is just like, I think the first thought people have is, no, that would never work where I live. There's no other vegans, there's no other vegetarians even. But when you really stop and think about it, like my friend, when we started this, we thought that we were the only like five or six vegan families in the Chicago metro area, which is not true. So, but it was only when we got over that hump of thinking, no, this, that it started to emerge. Um, so... But we also know dozens of vegan families mm -hmm. in town here who are not part of this network right. now. I mean, it's just, it's kind of crazy and it's growing so fast that mm -hmm. I think that someone would really be surprised to find out who would show up if they did something like that. Right. So I think um, just kind of keeping positive and keeping an open attitude that you're not going to be able to control necessarily how it's going to end up, but you're just going to put your best intentions out there and try to draw that to you. Um, I think that that's the way, I mean, for us it was just paramount that our child have vegan peers. So um, by hook or by crook, really we were well. going to get them. Yeah, so. <laughs> it, it served him really well. He's yeah. really, he has his, you know, he has his vegan friends and he has his school friends. Yeah. And, and it's just, and, and they get along well. He likes yeah. to play with both, you know. And the, this is a case of most people, most children, I think, is that he might have, we have these potlucks with, you know, 20, 30 kids, and um, 
But most of them are the only vegans at their schools. So, and certainly most of them are the only vegans in their classrooms. So it's important for them to have this larger sense of the world. There are, I think, six families or seven <laughs> in our network that are from six, this one yeah. town, which is just three miles by one and a half mile area. And, but it's six <laughs> or seven different families. And Every single one of them goes to a different school. Yeah. There just <laughs> happen to be a lot of schools in Oak Park. Yeah. But yeah, so they're all just like ambassadors in their own school. <laughs>